from off the street fights, they bring a tech, tech, tech. Hey, King J, what we tell him? Tell him. Back off. Back off. Back off. Back off. Back off. Back off. Oh, what's going on, guys? It's your boy, King J, and today we have a special one. We have a King Teach Me episode by Scrodinger. You know, he's from Spain. Really, really good King player. He's going to be doing King and Armor King. Um, done my research and yeah, he's definitely one that I wanted to put on this. So yeah, man, welcome on the Teach Me episode, man. Hey, what's up? Thanks thank for, for invite, inviting me and it's it's an honor to share some words about, the, about this character. So thank you. All right, thank you very much, man. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about King's key moves. So yeah, man, get, if you can go through his key moves and let me know what okay. you think about his key moves, that would be great. Okay, so first, um, everyone knows that King, the most important tools are his throws. So, like, so as you want to cover this uh, this section later, I will start with his jabs, his one two jabs and his one jab because it's it's one of the most important ways to set up his his throws. Yeah. So, King jabs are really good because uh, they have good good damage. They do like. 22 and 25 they also have a really good range for a jab they even buff his one jab in the last season that's a lot a lot a long reach mm -hmm. yeah and as i told you you can set up your throws uh, really easy because one is is plus frame so you're gonna use one two one two one a lot of uh, most of the time so one two one well, I'll start with 1-2, it's minus 1, but you have a third extension, and on counter hit, the third, the third hit, it's plus 10. So if, okay, that's... Which guarantees you uh, another 2-1 or 1-2, whatever you like. Nice. Um, and that's, that's why most people start to respect your one two because they wanna they don't wanna get hit by by the head by the third hit so nice. you can you can just start your offense from here from one two you can do poke uh, a low you can even go for a big mix up if your if your opponent is hesitating too much like a Kraus does mm. so that's why I would say his one two is one of the main main approach he has. And also the third hit, the third hit is safe, so there's no, there's no problem in that. Okay. Nice. So, also you, uh, if you cannot be very predictable with with the third hit because if you are, if you are sharp, you can side step right. If okay. you are, you time it right, so you can. Alright, let's trap. Trap. Down. You can try. Okay, okay. Oh, you wanted it, yeah. yeah. Okay, so you do it. Yeah, you do it. And I try to. Oh. Yeah, on block. Yeah, that's that's it. Yeah, that's it. And you can, you can even avoid his fourth hit also. So. Nice. If the if the third hit, that I I didn't I didn't mention. If the third hit counter hits the. The fourth and the fifth hit are guaranteed because his one two are his uh, his beginning of the tenth ten hit combo. So that's also really really good for for him. Okay, cool. And so, what other key moves does he have? Okay, so the main. you wanna uh, make them respect and, and don't duck so your main mid mid uh, is 4-3 which is mm, your, your strongest in terms on reward reward and risk 4-3 is mm, 15 frames and it has like a, a just frame input but the oh. just frame is, is is not that hard you have like four or five frames to, to do it so if you wanna yeah, it's it's pretty consistent. You have to to know the timing. 
And, and like this kick is, is safe, totally safe. It's minus eight. So yeah. even though you you can you cannot do a lot of things at minus eight, it's it's perfectly balanced. Okay. So it, it is you do a, a lot of Okiseme tricks. So if you wanna get hit, let me. Gone. Let me hit you. Uh, here, the this this kick, this low kick is guaranteed, totally guaranteed. Oh, the the opponent cannot do anything about it. The only the only issue you can you can see is that if if the opponent stand ups, you are on minus frames, because mm, this uh, this early kick is really is really disadvantageous, but but does not. That's not a problem yeah. because you are dealing a lot of damage, and even you can you can choose to do a strong mids and and dirty dirty setups with it. So it's really a a, a really nice Oki because you have guaranteed options, and if you wanna you this is his awesome. most important mid. Okay. Because it's safe, it gives you a lot of damage and even um, okay fame as well. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. What other moves do you have? Key moves. Okay, so we cover jabs, mid, I would say down three. See, because when you are facing a, a good opponent and and they can they start to, to break your throws consistently, you need to to do a low because normally King uh, doesn't doesn't need to to use low moves because he has these throws. Mm. So in case you you encounter a, a good opponent, just you need to you need to start to, to use lows and down three is his best low, in my opinion. Mm. It's it's plus one, which lets you buffer giant swing and it's it's un uninterruptible. If you try to, to do anything, to, you're gonna get get caught, and um, and it's only minus twelve on, on block, so it's not launch punishable by by any character. Nice. What else is there, man? What else? What else? What else? Yeah, yeah there's also yeah, and, and also uh, down three is really good because he, it has a decent tracking on almost uh, homing. It's like a homing mode, and this is really important because. King, King main pokes are are kind of weak to to his left, and with this move you can you can cover it. Okay, cool. Okay, I'm gonna do jab and down three. You can you can try to side this, but okay. you're gonna see that it tracks. So even both sides, and and if you back that, it it locks you down. So. Down three is really really good in this situation. Even two down threes in a row, because the in at, at minus one, the opponent is gonna is gonna try to move. Because here, if you sidestep, you you gonna evade every every throw attempt, and even his mids. If you sidewalk right here, you can uh, evade his down for one. So at this situation, you wanna use some homing moves. And down three is really good for for this situation. Okay, cool, nice. So what other what other moves does he have? Have you got like maybe like five more moves or something yeah, like so. that? Yeah, you can talk about um, five four moves. Yeah. Now I talk about down four two, which I th I think it's um, one of his main counter hit tools, and also we can we can see at it as a as a poke. Really, uh, this move down for two, it's like a multi-purpose move because it works as a poke, as a counter hit, and even for for tracking. So it's really it, it has it has everything. So the the most important part is that this this move is counter hit confirmable. I mean, if you see your opponent attacking or coming at you, mm. you can uh, easily hit confirm and. It leads you to to some big uh, damage. For example, uh, against most of the of the male characters, you get 
have life with with this move. It's not guaranteed on key. You have to do a, a special a special combo against King, but, but against almost every male, it's. I, I think you you have seen it. It's yeah, like I've seen it. And then you I'm pick up, with example, yeah, you you end you end the combo with with an unblockable. Ah. And the whole combo deals like eighty five damage. It's, it's crazy. So and this and this has been in the games since the release, and I don't. I don't really know why why is it still a thing. It's it's ridiculous. <laughs> nice. What else does he have, man? I know like forward four. I think is a pretty cool move as well. Yeah, forward four is really good. It's like uh, your your mix up for down three because they are uh, they are both fifth, uh, 17, 18 frames, so they work as a as a mix up and and it's a homing move. So when you wanna go for a a strongest a strongest mid rather than forward three and such yeah. you go for forward four which is safe it has a little pushback that you can even set up some throws if the opponent tries to tries to come at you uh, nice um, i've never i've never thought of doing that you know that's nice yeah it's like if you i know you play higas for example yeah it's like a same setup like forward forward two with higas into into a throw so mm. this pushback uh, get some leaves and space, and if the opponent is trying to to forward dash to come at you, you can you can try to to go for a throw. But it's risky, obviously, because if they they wait for you, you can, they they're can, gonna they wait, can launch so. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then yeah, uh, they can they can wait. Does a giant swing? Giant swing moves you forward as well, so that's why it'll be even good. It's the same with like Gigas. It's exactly what you're saying. It's the same with Gigas Pro because Gigas Pro. Put, allows you to go forward. Same with King. Giant Swing allows you to go forward. So if you try to go and do Giant Swing, yeah, and also the Giant Swing is his, his fastest throw, so that's why it's the most uh, the most common way to to do. So nice. So that yeah, the, the down forward two is really really important because of his poking properties and, and his counter hit. Nice. So and also down for down for one serves like the same the same purpose as. as down forward too, but you have uh, you have an extension which is mid mid, mm -hmm. and it's really well. I didn't mention, but this this extension is high, so you have to mm, always hit confirm it because you are you are exposing yourself to to be launched punished. So correct. It's it's really key to to learn to to hit confirm. And King has a few a few other hit confirmable hit confirmable strings. Which, which are really, really the key to to the character. I think you have also while standing to two, down forward one two. This this strain and yeah, it's it's really a thing with King to to hit to learn to hit confirm yeah. some of the some of his moves. So yeah, as I as I was saying, down for one, it's like it's not a generic down for one because it comes at. 14 frames but it has a lot more range than the that the typical down for one yeah. See, a lot of, a lot of the time your opponent is trying to back dash for for making for for creating a space and and making you weave and with down for one try to back dash after after jab and you will see try to do what again Bactas after oh. one two for example. Okay, go on. Let's get out of the wall. Oh, hold on, hold on. Okay, on block. Yeah, if you most of the time you try to Bactas, you cannot escape his down for one. And there are there are um, a few characters that you can make it with. So that's why I think his down for one is really special because of his range. Because of it's uh, you can hit confirm on counter hit, and you you can. Uh, you can initiate your offense from here because it's only minus one on block and as you have the, the extension you can you kind of have like like mental frame advantage even though it's minus one you can go forward because your opponent is gonna expect the second hit and and also an important thing is that if you don't block with back here you have like neutral guard I mean if you let go the stick Mm -hmm. The second hit is, is always gonna hit you. You have to press back 
to to block. Oh man, that's nice. Yeah, I didn't know that. That's yeah, and that's why uh, you can even go for for offense here because your op the opponent is gonna be more careful about the second hit because mm. they have to to block in order to they have to hold back in order to block. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So you know, let's try like. Let's try and speed up the key moves because so, I know the grab section is going to be very, very lengthy. So, if there's any other key moves, let me know. Okay, man. so. So, last key move, it would be. Or last two key moves, it would be forward, forward, neutral, one plus two, which uh, oh, is sorry, sir. Common, commonly known as push or layout push. Nine frames. And this geez. is. Yeah, this is crazy. This is. Um, his best move, I I, I could I could say. It's nine frame in a startup, which means uh, when uh, as long as, uh, as as long as you push one plus two, it comes at nine frame. So that means that in neutral, it's gonna be like twelve to thirteen frames. It's not nine frames every time. Oh, so because you, of the forward forward input. Yeah, because of the forward forward and the neutral input. So uh, in the in the neutral it's like a thirteen to fourteen mid, but it but any anyway it's really really fast as, and on counter hit is it's crazy. It's zero on block. Zero on block. Well, at the wall is it's it's deadly because you get a, a wall block. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I don't know why I did that. Man. So that, the, that, that the, but the important part is that... Why is it grabbing? I don't understand. On, on block, it's only... <laughs> my bad. It's only, my, uh, it's only zero. And it it leaves you at the perfect range for for, for key game plan, which is this one. Try to block. Okay. This range is king mm, most... Uh, perfect range, or most viable range for for initiate his his game, because here you can go for a for a back dash and punish any any wave, mm. or even you can go for a cross dash mix up, mm. or you can do a yeah, swing which is ten frames and at zero is gonna beat every option of the opponent. Oh, nice! So uh, yeah. let's let's try to get away of a wall, so we can so. Okay, so here, yeah, this is really really important because did you see that that pushback is the is the perfect full pushback for King? Mm. Because here you can do a cross dash and even uh, an instant signing wizard or something like that. <laughs> that's nice. Okay, I see you. I because see. You. I I. I yeah, it's it's really you can go for an for a signing without red because even though it is zero on block, a lot of the people is respecting it like if it was like positive for for King, mm. and it is kind of weird because uh, I I I, mean, I guess it, as it is quite fast, the opponent is not reacting uh, really really quick to to that move. So they are always back dashing or even moving to the to the side. So. I see you're doing that after out of crouch uh, dash you as can well. Even, you're doing that out of crouch dash. Ooh. Yes. Yeah, you can do that out uh, of crouch dash. And I I talk about uh, now if you, if you want because his crouch dash key as uh, it's import is another key move. Uh, for example, his crouch dash is like a like a stance or or a key key thing in his in his game plan. And for for making his claws does uh, good and respect respected you have to use quick moves like what is standing for and and this and this move because when when people see you coming forward with claws does they normally uh, rather duck your throw or or attack to to interrupt you so if you are using this move and what is standing for they are gonna start to respect you more yeah I don't right. know if, if that was understood. Yeah, yeah, no, that's fine. Because uh, can you show me the couch that's like, are you, uh, can you do it fluent, yeah? Okay, cross that. Uh, okay. Oh my god, what? what? It's gonna be hard. Because uh, we're on pass, I can't. Yeah, there's like input. 
input delay. Yeah, and I'm better at, at in the right side. Yeah. That I don't. On the right side, I've gone. Man. Yeah, it's 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 really hard. King Cloud does. But you're doing it though, which is that's a good thing. I, yeah, I find it's... it hard. I find it super hard. Yeah, if you have if you have the execution, it's really good because uh, you can control much better the the space and and such. But it's not really the most important thing about the character. And you see a lot of uh, high level king players that even even don't do it. So yeah. So but it's 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 like a plus if you have it, use it. But don't don't waste your time trying to learn it. Okay, cool. So but yeah, it's really cool. Nice. So, let's say. Uh, so is that? Do you reckon that's key moves done then? Because there's like you know, I feel like there's forward, forward one, side step two that you haven't spoke about. Um, what's the other one? Not this one. Sorry, I, yeah. I keep this one here. Yeah, Kinnis. Is... Yeah, the isn't... problem with Kinnis is that he's not a character of five, six moves. He has a lot of important tools. Like mm. like you said, forward for a one is his primary long range mid and it has like every property in the game it's mid safe counter hit starter uh, homing uh, it's it's his main his main mid from this event from the range 2.5 to 2.23 and it, and you can also do it from from cloud dust nice. uh, if you are here you, yeah. you can even get out of cloud dust with you can go forward with forward forward one and as i said it is safe it's minus five and in in minus five you can even you you, you have some options still as uh, for example you can do side step two after after that if you if you want mm. if i go for for a quick mid to check your to check your your guard if you do, if if you are as the as the king, you do side step two, you're gonna break that that mid. So if I do forward forward one and you do down forward one, uh, oh, he's okay, gonna. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's really that's a common setup, and it works against, for example, most of of down forward ones. Kasumi down forward one, you side step right, and then do the the two, and it waves. And for example, if, if you have a, a move which is weak to side step left, you, you do side step left instead. So okay, it's an important it's an important situation to know which option you have after this this move on block. And if your opponent starts to to hesitate, you can even go for a throw here because if you are evading his his quick move, they are gonna start. Try to realign with your with, with his movement, and in in this kind of situation of my on minus range, you can go for a mix up of, of throws, mm -hmm. and they are always uh, less likely to to break it because they are pushing a button or they are going forward and they are they are not expecting they are not expecting them. So it is it is nice to to do a throw here or or try to to side step or block. So mm. just change your options. Nice. All right, cool. So, do you reckon that's it when it comes to key moves, or do you reckon like one more I want to talk about is sorry, not this one. Um, this would would you call this a good move to use, or even his like power mm, crush? This, nah, the, yeah, this move is, is okay at the in in Okisame situations, mm -hmm. and also at the wall, because yeah. it has no range at all. Even. It's all. It's it's really good because it's plus frame and King really doesn't have a lot of plus frame mode. But so, you cannot use it in in the open. Uh, you can use it probably out, out of cloud dust if the if the opponent is respecting your your movement a lot. But it is um, used a lot in the at the wall because here the opponent is afraid to duck and and you can start your offense from here. Okay. But also, uh, King at King, in, in the world game situation, um, his primary range is not close. Whoa. Whoa, what? what <laughs> yeah, I've never seen him. With, <laughs> with, with King at the world, you want to stay, like, right here. Mm -hmm. And looking for any any wave. 
and punish with forward two or one plus two or one. So if we got to talk wanna... about we got to talk about that a bit later. Let's not go into more pressure just just yet. Not yet. We got a section okay, okay, for that. Okay. Don't worry. So. But, so the last key move I will talk about yeah. because it is it is really important for King yeah. is his full crouch down forward two. Okay, nice. This is his main with, with Punisher. And it has like crazy range. This is one of the best with Punishers in the game in my opinion. Nice. Even so though it, you have to stay crouching, but it's like the only issue. If, if, if with King, every every time you are in in neutral and doing spacing inside the step back dash, you are gonna you you want to duck sometimes randomly and look for width of the opponent so you can capitalize on the on, on them. Yeah. And and this is, is really important because King doesn't have a a launcher from standing with 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 good range, so you need to stay crouching a lot of the time. And this is like a a downside for the character because if you are ducking, you are losing your your freedom of of movement. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. it's but it's really important to to do it sometimes. Okay. So, so this this aside of the main with Punisher minus fourteen, which is kind of dangerous against certain matchups but all in all is is the is, is one of the key moves in my opinion okay cool so um i think that's it for key moves right there ain't really nothing else for key moves apart from magic 4 i think magic 4 is another one that i think is pretty cool but i, I think that's the last key move that i think yeah magic 4 yeah it's you have uh don't for don't for what two back one and magic 4 are your your main counter hit tools and forward forward one plus two king has a lot of counter hit and you have to you have to know uh, when to use a, a, any of any of it because if you think they are gonna probably duck you use down forward two or forward forward one plus two and if they are coming at you with the with the fastest quick uh, with the fastest moves because you do you do back one or magic four but I don't really like Magic 4 because the combo is kind of inconsistent. Oh, okay. In certain matchups, you cannot get a full combo. Oh, nice. This is your main your main combo. But with against female characters, there's like uh, some some inconsistency. And I don't really like that. So I prefer using down for down forward two and back one. Oh. I didn't mention back one, but it's like another. It's like, uh, it's like a magic four. It's twelve frames and high and safe. So okay. How do I... that okay. could be it. All right, nice. So what we're gonna do is we usually do key moves in stance of characters. I know everyone that's like watching this show a lot. They they know about key moves in stance. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna do a couple others. So now what we're gonna talk about is we're gonna go into grabs now i know grabs is going to be quite a, an important section of the teach me but yeah we're going to go into grabs let me know what you think of like you know i know that a lot of these grabs are important so let's talk about the grabs and then talk about his multi grabs afterwards if that's okay with you okay so the most important grab it's giant swing this is <laughs> everyone knows it and it's your it's, it's the grab that is like broken because of the of the animation because mm. it's like a one plus two animation and it's broken with one <laughs> yeah and that's why people is uh, are having trouble with it so giant swing 10 frames fast even if, if you are not paying close attention it's hard to to wish punish because if you are if you are doing a spacing and through a through a grab it's really hard to punish on reaction yeah. So it does crazy damage if you don't don't text roll. To take and it, um, wall, tell people how to take it because not not everyone knows how to take it properly. Okay, so so to take the the throw mm -hmm. on the animation is like it's, it's a one break, but if you wanna avoid a lot of the damage, you have to press uh, any button mm. one, two, three, or four. Mm -hmm. The at the same time you touch the floor 
Ah. Sí. sí, try to try to grab me and I I'll try to to show. But the timing is, is really a string. You have two frames, but if if you can mash it, if you saw, I was mashing every button. And you take and you actually take and, it as well. Yeah, and I take it. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. Okay. So if you wanna try and learn the the specific timing, you can. But I recommend every everyone to 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 mash. <laughs> really. <laughs> Alright, cool. Yeah, you don't wanna you, you don't wanna. Uh, miss if uh, miss it trying to do to do it perfectly yeah. you wanna get a consistent break and mashing is is really your best option <laughs> <laughs> okay cool mash it i guess let's go so what what other what other throws again because obviously i know i've been playing king quite a bit recently um i know that the mix up from here is i have a giant swing if your back's against the wall or up forward one plus two back yeah because it's giant yeah, that's the one break my mix up mm. go on yeah, that, that's your mix up when you have a wall nearby. But in the in the open, you you usually mix up giant swing with sending with her here, like that. Nice. I I ain't put that into my throw throw, throw list because usually I just do giant swing or the the, the throw away just chucks you against the wall. But do, doing that as well is even a mix up as well in itself. So yeah. Yeah. If 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 you are able to do sending with her from this range, which is like instant. Yeah. It's really, really, really hard to to break on reaction because the animation of Giant Swing and Signing Wizard is exactly the same. Hmm. So if you are able to do from from this range, the opponent is gonna have a really, really, is gonna have a lot of problems to to deal with it. So so that's why I, I use I hmm. will say that his main mix up for for Giant Swing is his is the Signing Wizard. Nice. So I just, I just. Saw, of you, I, no, I was gonna say I just yeah, yeah, saw. I just saw that you done the shining wizard in a way that is quite different to the way how I do it. So you press forward first and then done forward forward. So you done forward first and then done forward forward like the instant shining wizard. Can you explain that, please? Yeah, I press forward mm -hmm. because, uh, for example, if you are if you are buffering your throws in after your your generic tools, mm -hmm. what I do here is. Buffer the first forward, and then I press forward, forward really fast. Oh. Okay. You see, that's the first forward I I could do, and then two forwards really quick. And that's that's the same the same method I apply in the in the neutral. Yeah, that that's the same. Uh, the side the timing is the same. So I do forward, and then two two quickest forward. Two, two more quick forwards or two quicker forwards and mm. then two plus four but it's, it's hard to explain because the timing is you can even do different timings you can press f two forwards independently and then the last the the third forward and it's like there's mm, two to three methods to do about that's the one i use for forward like uh, alone and then two Two consecutive for was and two plus four. Okay, nice. And so, and also you can you can do it out of crowd dust, which is really really good. And if you are able to do crowd dust signing signing with us and crowd dust giant swing, mm, there's no chance the opponent is gonna break all of them. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're showing you're showing off the nice. These are all, yeah, these are all techniques that you have to to learn to. In order to beat the best player, because as I told you, when you face an, uh, a good opponent, mm. they start to break your throws on reaction, and then you have to to get new ideas, and these are are one of them. So after that, I would say that your main grab could be muscle uh, Tijuana Twister. This this grab. And you see when you do the throws, they, they ex explain the throws, like how you do them, the notations, like forward, half, circle, back. Yeah, the, the yeah. notation is the notation is forward, half, circle, forward, two. Okay, half, circle, forward, yeah, yeah. It's the same, the same notation as the swing, but you then change the... It's, it's with a two instead of one. Mm -hmm. Do you get any OK And the reason that? I say this is... Yeah, the, the OK is really simple in of this graph, because... You don't get really anything guaranteed here. 
Because the opponent can, can, the opponent can stand up straight forward. And, mm -hmm. But you have a mix up. You can, I, I normally go for down three and forward one plus two here. Oh, nice. Because if the opponent stand up, uh, they cannot evade here this the forward one plus four here. So it's really nice to check if they are standing ducking mm -hmm. and if they stand uh, if they stand uh, standing I, I mean uh, you uh, you have three plus you have plus three of two to go so nice okay so that's why it's it's really good all right so talk me through the other pros man my, uh, the other pros i want to know what's yeah. going on with the other pros because he has so many pros but you've told yeah. us the most important <laughs> he has so yeah, man. Yeah, you, you have uh, a quarter cycle back one plus two, which okay. is his muscle buster, and this is really this gives you a really good okay because the back turn three is totally guaranteed. See, if you try to to get up, if mm. I do it perfectly, you cannot do anything about it. It might be late. See, that's the only thing. But the time, yeah, yeah, the timing is is really really hard too. So you wanna. Oh yeah. Train this. So, yeah. As an as an ad advice here, if you are if you are gonna stand up, mm -hmm. it is better to Side wake roll. up backwards. See, hold back. Uh, hold back to stand. Oh okay. Because it is uh, it is easier to miss if you hold back here. Oh. Yes, you see. Okay. Nice. So this is one of the. This is one of the best throws for for King. Yeah. And he has he has a lot of a lot more. He has, as you told earlier, yeah. up one plus two, which is mainly used at the wall. You have down forward two plus three, which gives you kind of good okay because you can you have uh, you have this move which hits on the ground and. And you also can do a cross that here if the opponent stands right away. Okay. That's down four, down four, two plus four. Two plus three, sorry. Down, yeah, down forward, two plus three. Oh, okay. Down, just one down forward, okay. Nice. And then, yeah, um, and here is. Go on. Yeah, and you, uh, his last throw, I, I, I think, mm -hmm. is down back one, uh, down back, two plus three, which is his figure four. Okay, you can reverse this though, right? You by pressing three plus four at the right time. Yeah, you can reverse it. It's yeah, it's it's a just frame. Yeah. And you have to input three plus four. Uh, right. When when King breaks your leg, but it's really inconsistent. But it's really sick to see that in, in a tournament or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So is that so? That's all the solid throws. Now we're gonna go into the multi throws. So, uh, you know, I really like King's grabs, but you know, his multi grabs is where he really gets the mix up. So, talk to me about his multi grabs, man. Okay, so, so as, as as you told, his oh, his main throws are the ones you're gonna use most of the time. But when when you have to use when you have to mix up your opponent because they are breaking. Most of your throws, you have to commit to to his cross throws, chain throws, and, and even his mm, jaguar step throws. So his mm, main cross dash throws are his cross dash one plus four mm -hmm. and cross dash two plus two plus three, as, as you see. Mm -hmm. And the good thing about this is that the animation is uh, you cannot distinguish this this break. Two, uh, two plus three is a two break, and one plus four is a one break. Nice. So, so there's no, there's, yeah, it's a mix up. There's nothing you can do about about it. And even you can use one plus two throws out of his crowdas to make even harder to to break. Never fall. So you it. have three three breaks here. You have one <laughs> plus two for muscle buster. Yeah. One and his chain throws, which I'll talk about later, mm -hmm. and and two. Jeez. So here the important the important part is that every time King goes into a chain throw, mm -hmm. uh, 
uh, you wanna break accordingly to his to your, to your life bar or your or the time because if you have like half life and you know that king has a break a chain grab that deals you that deals more than half life you are gonna you, you want to break that so it's really important to to see uh, what held as you as you as you left no? or left so okay. for example out of Klaus does 2 plus 3 you can go for the one, uh, one plus two chain or one plus two path, which deals more than ninety damage. So that's why I'm so I'm saying that it's really important to know uh, how much life you you have. Yeah. Okay. So, so like here and in. No, yeah. Go on. Now I was gonna say I was gonna say that there's um, I've seen something where it's easier to do most of these command grabs by doing key charge. Is that so? Yeah, is that a thing? Um, yeah, there's like a there's some shortcuts. I actually do some some of them for mm -hmm. for his rolling death cradle and his in this path. You see, yeah. I did two one three and then the key charge. Okay. So in some cases, if you you only need to to do correctly the first part of the of the chain grab. Mm. I mean, if you if you do two one and then mass key chart, the you are gonna get the correct grab, the correct chain grab. So it's mm. kind of uh, a shortcut, and you can apply this. It's it's really it's, it's there, so you can you can use it. Nice. But um, that depends on how you you wanna learn it. If if you start to learn uh, with correct inputs. Uh, you are not gonna forget them, so that's that's your preference. For example, if you wanna do a rolling death cradle, mm -hmm. uh, you, you go two one one plus two, and then here the first uh, the first command, the first input, it shows a key chart. Uh. If you see the I did uh, cross that one plus four two. 1 plus 2, 1 plus 2 plus 3, and then a key chart here. And why I do a key chart here? Because I don't I don't bind 1 plus 3 for, for this character. As uh. I if you wanna if you let me so I use this configuration. So I don't bind 1 plus 3 and this chain throw requires a 1 plus 3 command. Okay. Okay. No, this is, okay. So the game see this uh, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 and it understands it's a uh, 1 plus 3 so that's like as uh, a shortcut or a, <laughs> or a book of the of the Tekken system <laughs> you know so what you can use it you can yeah <laughs> sorry I keep interrupting you say no 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 I'm, I, I really like this character so that sometimes I kind of wanted to give my input but no go ahead go ahead go ahead no I was, I was saying that uh, there's a lot of this kind of of, uh, of shortcuts with with the character, but um, there's there's not needed because if you bind a one plus three for for example R one or L one, you don't need to use key charts and you can use your bind and do the the rest of the of the command. So there's it's an easier way to to approach his his chain throws and. Probably it's easier to to learn in this way, but mm, I started to learn this character a long ago, so I decided to to learn the proper way. So. That's that that's, that's understandable. Yeah. You know, with the, uh, what I was gonna say, so, is, you see, with this one, that that part of the throw, you know, the best way that I do it is I press two, roll my finger over to one, and then press uh, a three. So you could just like hold two, then press one. Like hold hold two, press one, and then press three. But you hold it over like that, and that's how I work. That's how I yeah, work. Yeah, you it. hold every you hold every button. You hold you press two and then hold and then one and hold and then three. Yeah, that's this way. Okay, cool. So like yeah, that's the best way. If you don't have like a like a bind or something. Nice. So with all right. So 
with the one plus four, it's one I can cover his Okiseme and, and, and something like that because we didn't cover Okiseme out of chain throws. And... We could do it. We could do it. I'm here, man. I'm here. Let's do it. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. So let's cover his main Okiseme after chain throw. So, his. I will say that, as I told you before, you wanna break uh, according to your life. And for example, King out of his one plus four grab, his one his one path gives you like any Oki Seme, so that's your, your you, you don't have to worry about that path uh, a lot, so the one is like, okay, nothing, you, you get 50 damage, which is a lot, but there's, there's nothing more. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Then, the, the two, the two graph, this is his best, uh, his best chain graph, in my opinion, for for this situation because here you have mm, the best Oki if the opponent tries to stand up or hold back hop kick will will be their option oh really and also yeah if you try to stand mm -hmm. and even if you side roll sometimes the hop kick uh, hits you in the ground <laughs> wow <laughs> yeah so here if, if you hold back or, or or stand up you you're gonna get hit so Okay. Normally, the opponent is gonna side roll or stay stay still on the floor. Okay. Damn. And also, he's after this chain grab, the alley kick is, is totally guaranteed. So you have that for for more damage. You cannot block it. I don't know what to say. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I like this character yeah, so much, he, man. He, he, King is like that. Uh, King has a lot of, of uh, situations where Ali Kick is guaranteed after um, after a lot of his attack throws. For example, as I told you earlier, forward three into one plus two. This here. Yeah. Okay. Here, Ali, Ali Kick is also also guaranteed if you do it uh, as fast as possible. Because I'm I'm missing the timing here, but you get the idea. For example, in for his Kraus does uh, 2 plus 3, every grab here mm -hmm. gives you a free ally kick. And it's free damage and everything's, also, everything's alright. <laughs> wow. So here again, ally kick is gar yeah, ally kick guaranteed. Yeah. But you're minus 14 there, which is quite crazy. Yeah, I'm, I'm minus 9 here, but... Most of the time, people don't don't even try to to take their turn. So because a lot of the time they are back, they are back turn. Okay, but you see that time it just said that it was minus fourteen, yeah. which was quite weird. Don't know why yeah, it said yeah, minus. That, yeah, that was that was weird. I've never seen that. T minus fourteen. Wow! 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 I've never I've actually never. known that ever. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, so that's for uh, so for King, you can punish actually the the Ali kick because King has a back ten a back ten King which is thirteen frames. That is crazy. Yeah, I, I didn't know, know that. I didn't know. Wow, it is crazy. <laughs> All right, we learn something new every day, man. All right, so what other stuff do you have? Because yeah. I know that if you stay on the floor from that situation, you get two ground grabs guaranteed. If I stay on the floor, yeah, after after. His one plus two graph here. Mm -hmm. If you stay on the floor, you get ground throw into ground throw attempt. Because this situation, when the opponent is face down and feet towards, mm -hmm. this is your best. This is the best situation for king ground throws. Because here you can you can go for another one. Okay, let's try to to replicate that altogether. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna side roll. Cause you can but, but I'm gonna. Uh, but if you are gonna stay on the floor, you have to be ready to to try to break the the ground floor. Yeah. Because it's like really expect, it's, it's expected to that the, that the king is gonna. Okay, so you see, you couldn't even move. It's guaranteed. So can you break the I second hear... ground floor, the side, the side one? Can I break that one there that you do from that? Yeah, you can, uh, Yeah, every every ground floor. Mm. It's it's breakable, but it's a mix-up between one or two. And in this situation, when you are 
uh, side roll face down, mm -hmm. the two ground throws yeah. uh, are the same. I mean, they deal the same damage, even though you input down back 1 plus 4, no, down back 2 plus 4 or down back 1 plus 3. But can I the, break that through? The animation is, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the break? Try, uh, try to press press to here. Oh, but you okay. see, if yeah, I yeah. do down back two plus three, well, two plus four, it's a two break. And if I do the ground throw with down back one plus three, it's a one break. So oh. every time you are on the floor and expecting a ground throw for for the king player, you have to be ready for your for your break. And this is the same situation, like after your wall combos and and, and such. Okay. As the wall is, is really common to to end it like 1-2 into ground floor. So here, always be prepared to to break the... to, to decide which break you wanna go for. It's only a 1 or a 2 break, right? Depending on what option you choose, right? Yeah, it's always 1 or 2. There's no, there's no secret 1 plus 2 ground floor or something like that. <laughs> yeah, and when you do ground throws, you have to hold down, down, back to with the like 1 plus 3 or hold down back 2 with 2 plus 4 because sometimes I get like just the quick grabs so like I don't get the yeah, full grab. In, in this situation when you finish the when you are at the wall and after 1 plus 2 you have to hold down mm. back as you as you mentioned. Yeah, yeah. You don't need to hold the the inputs, the 1 plus 3. You only need to hold the, the direction. Okay, But cool. when, when we are in the open mm -hmm. and you are face down and something like that, you don't need to hold down back. This is only for for his face face up uh, feet towards ground throws. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Oh, I, I mean, if I'm in this situation, if I'm here, you 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 want to to hold down back because instead you get stay and swing. So, but mm. if I'm like hold down, in this in this situation you don't need to hold down back. You can just uh, tap it. Okay, nice. So, you know, I know there's easier ways that, that you know, actually, there's two things I want to ask. So, is there an easier way to do uh, the rolling death cradle? Okay, uh, if you want to apply the key chart technique, it seems mm -hmm. really easy. You're not, you're not going to miss any time. So, how so I, recommend, I recommend you to, to use some... some Binds like this, or even binding one plus three, to make sure you don't you don't miss any any chain throw. Mm -hmm. But there's there's no there's no trick. If you are using an arcade stick and only four buttons, or you are using a pad with no binds, you have to press mm, correctly every every two inputs. And the 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 sequence is one plus three. 3 plus 4, then, mm -hmm. and 2 plus 4, 1 plus 1, no, 1 plus 2, I, I don't even remember, I just use it by <laughs> muscle memory, it's, 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 it's crazy. <laughs> All so, right. there's, no, there's no really a trick here, you, if you are using binds, it's, it's easy to, to get it. Mm. Here, here, I'm using a bind for the for the guitar and there's no massing, there's nothing, there's just mm, one after the other and I don't I don't see a difficulty here and this and difficulty here so it's really a misconception about King because a lot of the people ask me wow wow you are you are not missing every you are not missing any any chain throws ever and and I say okay that there's no trick to it and there's easy there's like <laughs> Uh, doing one two, it's, the difficulty is the same. <laughs> yeah. There's just uh, le learn a lot. You have to learn a lot of chain throws and and um, options and okay so and changes. But once you have learned by muscle memory, you're gonna you're gonna you are not gonna miss any time. So. Okay. Cool. It's and just then... patience and and consistency in your while while you're learning. Okay, cool. So like, there's a uh, he has the options from this throw as well. So like, it's I, I usually do one plus two, one three, and then key charge. That's what I usually do, and it works. So like, I do. I don't have my buttons bind, but 
it usually works yeah. where I can do that and then switch it over. From this throw, you get two options. What what option do you like to choose the most? From, from the multi throw. throw. Yeah, so what one do you like yeah. to choose the most? Because obviously you can break it and then you get damage dealt like that. So what one what option do you usually go for? So, uh, no, normally the first time I connect this throw, I'll go for, for the one plus two. Uh, for the one plus two because it's the the one that deals more damage. Uh, so if I if the opponent breaks it, I then realize that they they know something about King because I, there are there are a lot of people that uh, doesn't know King has one plus two uh, chain grabs mm -hmm. and they all they they always must uh, randomly one or two. So my my first option is gonna be always one plus two. Uh, and this is this applies always for also for for the for the role in the cradle here. Mm. Okay. So once you once you know the opponent uh, breaks your one plus two throws, you I would go for for the one because um, it deals um, uh, even though it deals less damage, mm -hmm. it's less likely that the opponent is gonna break it because. Um, the, uh, you have to you have to know that the breaks are always according to the to the damage they deal because any any chain grab mm -hmm. the one the one plus two path or the one plus two uh, grab mm -hmm. deals the the more damage of, of that uh, whole chain and then the the two is the one that deals more damage and then the one so in order of damage, it goes one plus two, two and one. So uh, when you are facing someone that knows this, I prefer go f going for for a lot of uh, one grabs so that they don't they don't break it. But I'm sacrificing damage, but I don't I don't mind. I prefer fifty guaranteed damage every time that. Uh, Going for uh, for going for big damage and and knowing that my opponent is likely to break it, so mm. I prefer consistency over over damage and <coughs> and sorry no worries and being able to to break it. So okay, cool. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk lastly about um, so we're still gonna go into throws. I think we're gonna talk it wolf pressure, throw buffers, and fighting against it in a, in a. We're gonna break it down in it because this video is like an hour long so far, so we're gonna try and break it down into two parts. Okay. So the last but not least, what I want to talk about in this section is he has multi throws where people just can key charge. So like for example, this throw here, I see a lot of people just mashing. You can mash key charge, mash key charge, mash key charge, mash key charge. Like this is yeah yeah yeah. See. This is what okay. people do. But then, yeah, this is like yeah, people yeah, uh, people don't don't know. But if you face an opponent that is doing this, always go for uh, one break because if you are if the opponent is key charging, these techniques always uh, always do the one break or, or, the, or this uh, always go for the one chain grab. Mm. There's no there's no other there's no other mix up. Damn. And this, <laughs> this is this applies for every. Yeah, if if I go cross dash one plus four and then key charge every time. Yeah. This this is gonna be always the one the one path. Whoa, whoa, that is so crazy. If 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 you are uh, if you if you have a feeling that the, that the king player or, or even. This this also happens with Armor King with Nina and Anna. If you have a feeling that the opponent is key charging, even if you are if you are uh, sitting next to each other and you see them <laughs> using the key charge button, just go for a one break. <laughs> oh my god, bro, that is tip of that's tip of the century right there, man. Oh my, I did not know. I did not know that. That's crazy. Okay, cool. So like, you know, what's his longest? Uh, multi throw because I know he has one that's really long, but I only do the key charge ones. Yeah, the longest. Yeah. Yeah, the longest is it starts with Jaguar step and it goes something like that. You can even. I think I missed it. Okay. Damn. Damn. This is like a mix up between his 
Cobra Clutch Throw, yeah. I, I miss it. And he's down forward 1 plus 2. Because I didn't mention this this crowd that's be but I don't think they are they are very useful because they are They can uh, be broken at every point. Lower. Yeah, they are slower than the Krausas and it deals, and they are more, they are easier to break because they they, they don't have a one plus two version. So, but the but the longest it would be something like this. I, I hope I don't mess it up. And if you pay close attention, I'm using the the kitchen button sometimes. Wow, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna stop this one here. Simmer down, sim simmer down, sim simmer now. Couple kicks to your boat. I'm a winner now. Like Eddie with the feet, I'm a killer now. Killer now. Killer now. Simmer down, sim simmer now.